Today I am visiting a tea plantation on the Azores. I thought I might make a cup of tea. And here I can do it from scratch. This is where the tea leaves are picked and rolled, oxidated, dried, checked and packed. And whoever wants to, taste the tea. I'm at the Shah Goriana tea plantation, Europe's oldest. They've been cultivating tea here since 1883. Madalena Motta is in charge of the fifth generation family owned business. I'm blown away by its traditional charm and century old machines. Tea production, it seems, hasn't changed much over the years. The Azores are a remote archipelago that belong to Portugal. They are located some 1500 kilometers out in the Atlantic. Sao Miguel, the largest of the nine islands, is ideal for growing tea thanks to its mild climate year-round and volcanic soil. Here in Azores the lands are too acid. The roots are very uh, big, so it makes the tea very uh, fresh, not aggressive. So it's a, our tea It's what the English call fresh because it's easy to drink. The tea is harvested between April and October. Today I'm helping out. <laughs> the plantation is 45 hectares in size. Several times per season about 30 harvest workers head out to hand pick young tea sprouts. Each year the company produces about 40 tons of tea. Actually, I'm just happy that I didn't have to pick every single leaf, but this bag gets really heavy after a while. You tired? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how did I do? <laughs> well, you can stay here all over the, the harvest, how long? This is not so good. The tea one. tastes different depending one. which leaves are harvested <laughs> and when. This one is a harder one. How come that um, every different sort of leaf makes a different tea? Because the tannin, the, the juice they have, the, this one, it's very soft. It's a, a very good tea, very aromatic. Mm -hmm. This one, pico, it's going to be, is a young leaf, but it's more strong, okay. more tannin. And this one, it's a hold, not too much tannin. So it's going to be very light. There are 3,000 tea varieties, though they all originate from one and the same plant. Where the plants are grown, which leaves and varieties are processed, determines the flavor. When orange cultivation collapsed on the archipelago some 200 years ago, people started growing tea. Madalena Motta's family were among those who made the switch. Um. I always think like that. The, the tea factory, she's alive. We are going to die. So we are the ones, the actors, that uh, uh, work in the tea, in the, the tea factory. But I'm go one day I'm going to God, I hope. <laughs> and then my, the, 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 the tea factory stay alive and the other ones come. After the tea is picked, it needs to be processed. For this, it must be transported to a tea factory. A perfect opportunity to get to know my colleagues. That is good. <laughs> there used to be several tea factories in the Azores. Today, Shagoriana is the only one left. Within a matter of hours, the freshly harvested tea leaves are processed into black, green and oolong tea. In the first step, I make sure the tea leaves can properly dry. For this, they are poured into long vats and allowed to wither. Over time, they lose about 30% of their moisture content. Afterwards, the tea leaves are rolled. The machine's circular motion damages the leaf cell walls, allowing cell fluid to seep out and interact with oxygen. That's what gives the process its characteristic smell. Yeah, 
you can you can smell. Yeah. When we mix the, the black tea, we have to oxidate the leaves. So it's very important. If you don't smash the leaves, you cannot oxidate it. Black tea is usually allowed to oxidize for two hours. It's a delicate process that requires close monitoring and plenty of experience. Tea production is all about the kind of leaves used and how long they are processed for. In the last step the tea is dried with hot air, sorted and prepared for export. We check the quality of the tea leaves by hand before packaging the product. The tea is grown without any kind of pesticide. Finally, the time has come to sample a cup. Okay, good spot for a tea ceremony. Right? Yes. <laughs> good. Nice, good, yeah. <laughs> Do you sometimes drink coffee as well? Yes, at the morning I drink one coffee because coffee uh, make you um, with energy. Uh -huh. Tea make you focus. Ah. It's the difference. Tea means everything. It's my passion. It's my life. It's what gives me the work to survive. It's everything. And I think when I was born, I didn't have uh, blood. I had green uh, leaves on my, how do you say, veyage? Um, Here. Beans, beans. Yes, yeah. in the, my veins. So tea is everything. It's a drink, it's a job, it's what gives me the balance to live. And so my fantastic visit to Shah Goriana tea plantation comes to an end. To be honest, I'm a passionate coffee drinker. But after I experienced today how much manual work and dedication is put into the tea production here, I see a cup of tea with completely different eyes. Have you enjoyed watching this video? And if you want to see more videos like this, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.